increasingly we are seeing more and more people are you know accepting failure mm. across the ecosystem it's not mm. so much a societal uh, stigma in right. fact uh, NASCOM itself has organized a few mm. fail conferences mm. where we uh, celebrate a uh, failure oh that's wonderful and people, that entrepreneurs come. that's that's really wonderful in fact uh, Arunab, I'm, I'm sure that uh, you could contribute to that as well, perhaps, uh, you know, a spoof or something. But Arunab, you know, if I could uh, just, just uh, ask you very quickly, uh, how much did sort of the fear of failure ride on your mind when waking up at 6 o'clock, not sure why am I doing this, but I do love it. Does it even sort of cross your mind? Like I always say that startup is the new guitar and every college student wants one. <laughs> so I think, you know, that's my thing has always been process orientation. I mean, I have enjoyed doing what I've been doing for the last five years. Mm. And over the last three years or four years, we've been able to build something out of that. Let me make some controversial statements. <laughs> Entrepreneurs are loony. Fifteen years ago, if you started a new business, uh, the, the mother would not really want to mention that to her friends or to their <laughs> relatives. It was not a good thing. Right. Because it was interpreted as my son couldn't get a job, job so, therefore, so he's doing a business, business of his own. Right, and the, the, right. that time startup was not the term. Spot on, yeah. Today, mm. there is pride yeah. in the parent or the relative to say he or she is in a startup. Right. The best, of course, would be when in the matrimonial ad, mm. it would say wanted a groom who's in a startup. <laughs> we, we, we are still to get there. That's, a, that's an important point okay. because I, I, you know, I, I did a show a, a couple of weeks ago where somebody came and said that my parents couldn't find a, a bride for me because everyone said that, no, what is he doing? Like this is, you know, he's it not doing will happen. Anything. It will happen. Okay. You know, I said entrepreneurs are loony. They are also dreamers. But so I want to ask you. I want to ask you. How long can can somebody sustain that? Because many say it's unrealistic. The lives that are led. That for twenty years. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's nature. So you for know, a long time. It's nature. No, I yeah. know some people are just built that way. They mm. love doing it. Yeah. For example, I just love it. You know, mm. just just working, organizing mm. stuff, planning mm. stuff. Three o'clock at night. Mm. A meal goes at three o'clock at night. A meal goes at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And you know your employees are like, when did you sleep? <laughs> and it's it's fun, you know. I've been doing it for what ten years now, and I, I, I hope I can do it for longer. Right. But it doesn't tire you out. It's exciting if you're working for something you really believe in, mm. and you're really you know turned on with the idea. Mm. You fall in love with the idea, right. and you just pursue it that way. You right. never get for you know uh, tired of being in love with somebody. Right.